This video just covers um, lighting and open area outdoors. I'm going to start with um, a new exterior scene which um, can be done also from the welcome window and uh, the area I'm going to set up is uh, 30 meters by 22. I'm going to select object pointer and move that in. Clicked on the edge and that can then be moved in to uh, 30 meters and the um, snap for the grid is on which is helpful and that's moved down to 22 meters. Letting go and um, I'm going to look look to have that in the full CAD window and therefore I'm going to click on overall view of scene. Just need to click back into that window to get that to be a solid line on the boundary. Click. And I'm just going to pull in slightly on that so I can see the boundary. That's the um, the ground element set up and next I'm going to select the uh, luminaire from the luminaire selection tab. It's going to be a white croft uh, luminaire that I'm using in this example and um, it's a post top lantern and uh, its name is uh, Sirocco Spoke. I'm going to choose the 70 watt version use and exit from the database. There the luminaire is available. I'm going to go for a, re re a rectangular array, a field arrangement. Clicking on that. Mounting tab. The actual mounting height I want to be 4 meters rather than 3. That's changed to user defined and uh, set that to 4 meters and hit the tab key. Right. Um, the end point that is defining this point here which is the extreme of the the area which is um, suitable. Um, extension um, is the same value given that the start point is 0, 0. If that value had been say 1 meter in X then the extension would have been um, 29. Right. Um, I'm going to be looking for about um, 20 lux and therefore this uh, rough calculation at the bottom can be used. If I change that to 20 um, just by means of example and uh, hit the tab key and we've got some new um, values put in here for the rows and luminaires per row. Um, alternatively you can click on the suggestion button Right. Now if I wanted to um, have slightly more than that I could put in say three, three rows um, by four. These values actually haven't uh, re responded to that change but if I say put in 25 and hit the tab key you can see that um, three by four is, is holding on that value. So um, I'm going to, it's a matter of experimenting with that, but the rough calculation is quite a powerful um, tool for um, finding out what the layout needs to be for a given um, illuminance target. Insert button, there's the array where you've got half spacing to the boundary. And now I'm in a position to um, Start a calculation. Uh, 
and for the results uh, I go to the output tab expand that folder expand the exterior scene scroll down to exterior surfaces expand the ground element expand surface 1 and uh, if I double click on the icon for isolines I get the report where I can actually see the average illuminance average of 25 lux with a uniformity of 0.4 so these illuminance values um, that you choose need to, need to come from uh, some guide or standard or a brief um, so that um, really covers the ability to set out for an open area amenity lighting if the area had not been um, a regular rectangle um, at the initial stage one could go to the boundary do a right click and edit the ground element and right click again insert a point and that would enable me to say take off a corner so the right click is quite important to adjust adjust the boundary and to finish that off an OK is given OK thank you for um, watching the video